there were actually people who acknowledged, yes, you, 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 you're right. You got it. It's just you in Lake County. So, you know, for me to go, yeah, I recognize I'm in Lake County, you know, the good old boy network, you know what I'm saying? All that nepotism. Yeah, I'm aware. No problem. But that's why I'm here, apparently, because all that needs to go. It is wrong to urge an individual to cease his efforts to gain his basic constitutional rights. I have immunity under the laws of the United States, meaning don't need no stinking driver's license, don't need the registration, don't need the insurance, don't need none of that. The mindset of a sovereign citizen when he puts a fictitious license plate on his car is that he's going to get pulled over by law enforcement. Acting as a state citizen, you know, acting as the American, acting as someone who had rights as opposed to privileges. Now, I know that if I had been a white man doing it or a man, a, a Caucasian man doing this, it wouldn't have been a problem. They would have accepted it. Um, he recognizes that we're not going to accept the fact that he has a fictitious license plate and he is going to have law enforcement contact. Driving without a license. I don't have a license. So because I don't have a license, they had no authority to stop me or prosecute me. Once I demonstrated that it was illegal for them to stop me and prosecute me for driving without a license, they upped the ante to driving under suspended license. Even though the plain language of the law says you can't reach for a suspended license if there is no license. It's all cool until you start going to jail and then that can break them from uh, staying with that movement and realize that a lot of what's being said or being shown to them is actually not true and can actually get them into a lot of trouble. So the question is not whether we will be extremists, but what kind of extremists we will be. The plain language of the law says you can do it, but they wanted to give me a life sentence for doing it. And sentence me illegally, sentence me and confined me for one year for doing what the plain language of the law said that I could do. Will we be extremists for hate or for love? And some of them, like I say, treat me mean, is you have a man that's in jail, you have a medical file on this man that shows he has chronic low back pain, you have a history that shows that every time this man comes into jail, his ability to stand is reduced because of his back pain, so you're gonna prosecute him because he doesn't stand. But wait a minute, medical staff can verify he's got a medical condition that says he shouldn't be standing. But you're gonna try to force him to stand. Will we be extremists for the preservation of injustice or for the extension of justice? Ended up having two camps. You know, one that says, yes, he's right, and, have, and having officers in my face telling me that I'm a, they recognize I'm a state citizen. Having a district attorney, a deputy district attorney, tell me in my face, we know who you are. But then have this other camp saying, we're gonna try to crush you like a cockroach. We're gonna arrest you every time we see you. We're gonna try to put you in jail every chance we get. When you go to court, we ain't gonna give you a fair trial. Something within has reminded him of his birthright of freedom, and something without has reminded him that it can be gained. I filed so many lawsuits, so many meaningless, and I don't mean meaningless as in I couldn't have won. I mean meaningless as in wrong case, you know, wrong avenue, wrong direction. You know what I'm saying? Meaningless. I couldn't have won if I wanted to, from my perspective, I was under the jail for most of my life. And because I chose the things I chose, I had myself there. I don't blame society. I don't blame anyone. I didn't grow up in Lake County. I, I'm a transplant. I grew up in the Bay Area. Well, actually, I grew up in California. So many places. So many different cities. You can say I grew up as a nomad. I had to pay my dues because I wasn't right when I started out. I took a vow to do what's right today or next month. I'll be 59 years old and now I live according to what's right.
I've got people, previous enemies that give me respect because I did what's right, even though they were doing me wrong. But though I was initially disappointed at being categorized as an extremist, as I continued to think about the matter, I gradually gained a measure of satisfaction from the label. And I'm like, well, dude, the plain language of the law. Can't do it. Plain language says so. When the plain language of your codes, because the plain language of the law said that what they were doing were wrong. Blatant, vicious, malicious disregard of the plain, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> of the plain language of the law.